When I stopped building custom teardrop campers and customized my minivan instead and turned it into an RV, it was the best thing I ever did. Out of all the ways that I've camped in my lifetime, camping in a van, in my opinion, is the best way to go. You have the best of both worlds. You have your own personal everyday driver, and you also have your camper with you at all times, allowing you to sleep anywhere at any time. Customizing a van is much easier than one would think. All you need is basic carpentry skills. I created this header after tracing out cardboard templates to give me the exact fit for my van, which allowed me to use blackout curtains to close off the front of the van from the sleeping quarters, giving me privacy as I camp at night. Having a personal vehicle that doubles as an RV is the way to go. It's cheaper on gas than an RV, weighs less than an RV, and can be parked anywhere, allowing you to stay in your vehicle in stealth mode. From the outside, nobody knows that your vehicle doubles as a camper. It also allows you to have everything that you need with you. And this bed riser, the way that I designed it, has multi-functions and has plenty of storage underneath for all my gear. When the rear panel is raised, it doubles as a couch on the inside when the cushions are in place. Directly behind the driver's seat is a gas strut lid that lifts up so I can gain access to my bed riser from the front slider door. Directly next to it is another panel that unlatches and raises up and goes on a post to serve as a table for a dinette for two to sit at and eat. I designed my bed riser this way so I can eat inside the van should the weather be bad. Directly below the table is a built-in custom foot box. So that way as you sit around the table, you've got somewhere to put your feet and nothing goes into the floor of the van. This bed riser was designed to work off of itself to where if you needed to take it out of the van, you can unattach it from the floor and slide the entire unit out and put it into another van. Nothing is screwed or permanently fastened to the van body itself. This way the van stays all original. At the bottom of the bed riser, I also installed leveling feet. Being that all van makers have a sloped floor in the van, this way it allows me to level the bed riser for sleeping. I also installed an automobile fire extinguisher that every RV should have, just in case there's a fire. I also installed bug mesh screens, so when the slider door is open, I can pull the screen across and fasten it, not allowing any bugs to come inside the van should I be eating my dinner inside. I also took into account when I built the bed riser to build it just the right height so as I sit on the bed of the bed riser, my head does not come in contact with the roof of the van. It makes it nice for when I want to stop and get something to eat. I can drive to a location that is pleasant like down by the water and have my dinner right inside the van eating at my own personal dinette. Have the slider door open, pull the screen if need be, get a nice breeze, and watch nature as I sit down by the water to enjoy my dinner. From the outside, it looks just like a normal van. Nobody even knows what the inside is like at all. When I'm done eating, I can just drive away, as easy as I can when I'm camping. No fuss, no mess, in and out, stealthy, no one knows the difference. I even designed my own awning that sets up in just mere seconds. So when the weather is foul and I want to come out of my van, I don't have to worry about getting wet. Once nighttime comes, sleeping in the van is just as comfortable as sleeping at home. I have a full-size, comfortable, 4-inch thick memory foam mattress. All the interior lights run off a lithium generator. I designed it that way so I wouldn't be pulling power from the main battery to the van. I have blackout panels in all the windows and none of the interior lights can be seen from the outside. Being it's just a minivan, nobody even knows that I'm sleeping inside of it and how luxurious it really is. On the inside I have different lights for different purposes. Lights for mood. Lights for work activities. Lights for eating. Whatever it is that I need to light up and for what, I have it inside the van. It makes it a lot of fun to build things yourself and enjoy the things you've created when you're out camping in the middle of nowhere.
Beneath the full-size bed riser, I have 18 inches of storage, front to back, side to side. There is nothing to obstruct even putting long items in the van, loading it from the rear. There's also enough room between the seats and the bed for a porta potty, so I have my own bathroom with me when I travel. In the back corner is a 12 volt shower pump that pumps all my water for running dishes and for showering. I have plenty of space for everything that I need to take with me camping. I even have things for the van, such as an air compressor that runs off my lithium generator. So if I need to add air to my tires, I have everything with me. The back panel is also my cook counter. That's where I set my butane stove and do all my cooking. I will make an announcement once I have the PDF downloadable plans to this build available. Which is basic carpentry skills and two sheets of three quarter inch birch plywood and birch banding. Anybody could build a system just like this for their own van. You could even build it different. Whatever suits you and whatever works for your needs. This one is able to be taken out of this van and put in any van regardless of the make and model.